Since we released the green star today, I'm going to do a demonstration in regards to Venus. Venus, not Mars, may be signaling. An assistant of the Smithsonian Institute is discussing the alleged interplanetary wireless messages being received by Mother Earth. In other words, this scientist says that if any other sphere is flirting with us, it is probably Venus and not Mars, as suggested by other scientists. The planet Venus shows every condition necessary for maintaining life. It is nearly the same size as the Earth, and it is even nearer the Sun than the Earth is. This would apparently make the climate considerably hotter on Venus except for the fact that the atmosphere surrounding Venus is continually cloudy. This universal cloudiness by reflecting the radiation from the Sun reduces the temperature to about the same range as that experienced here on Earth. This cloudiness also shows a sufficient amount of water vapor to support vegetation and higher forms of life on the planet Venus. As regards the possibility of receiving wireless messages from another planet, Venus at its nearest approach to the Earth is 25 million miles away, whereas Mars is at least 50 million. From these considerations, it may be concluded that if any planet is trying to signal our Earth, it is Venus and not Mars. It can be definitely proved that Mars is unsuited for maintaining a conceivable form of life. While with the conditions prevailing on Venus, there is every reason to believe that their planet may be populated by beings similar to ourselves. Noble Drew Ali is a, is a mastermind. So is he telling you, brothers and sisters, that you're going to Venus or are some of your ancestors in Venus? It's very interesting, brothers and sisters. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration in regards to Venus. Again, peace and love to all who support the Amexum Almanac. Divine honors to Prophet Noble Drew Ali and the Moorish Divine and National Movement. Islam.